Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to the channel. My name's Grant and in today's video we're going to talk about my two favourite lenses for the Nikon D90. Nikon, Nikon. Who really cares? Who really cares? Who really cares? My two favourite lenses for the Nikon D90 and we'll discuss another couple that you might want to look at. Um, and very budget friendly too. So uh, let's roll that intro and get into it. Welcome back everybody. So yeah, this video is gonna be about my uh, two favorite lenses for the Nikon D90. So um, <clears throat> if you're watching this video, you might have a Nikon D90, you might be looking to get um, a couple of lenses for it, or you know, you might have had one for a while and you're thinking about adding some more lenses to your kit. Um, but these lenses and these two particular lenses, I feel, um, give you a really good range of focal lengths and um, some options for some um, good depth of field and some good zoom reach and all sorts of things. They just cover the full gamut of just sort of day-to-day, -day, you know, everyday photography. Um, <clears throat> would I use it on professional jobs, these lenses? Eh, I don't know, maybe I would, I don't know. But uh, let's just get into it and we'll talk about lens number one, okay? Okay, so i uh, just check my audio there, yeah, yeah. Um, lens number one is the Nikon DX 35mm f1.8. So this lens here is um, a prime, obviously, 35mm. So on the crop sensor camera, it works out to be about 50mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this lens is a nice, lightweight little prime. It's super cheap. Um, I picked mine up for about 150 AU, so Australian dollars. And... Um, it's an awesome little lens. So, uh, I've got my Nikon D90 here. Let's just get it on. And uh, I'll show you it all comboed up. So, now, here it is here, lens cap off. <clears throat> super lightweight, super compact little kit with 35mm on. Uh, you know, I feel as though also the 35mm or 50mm does turn you, uh, make you a better photographer too, because you've got to move your feet, compose your shots, all that sort of stuff. And the images, as you can see, that I'm throwing in through here, um, the images you can see are, are really, really, like they, they really give you a nice nostalgic sort of look, um, some nice depth of field, some great colors, all that sort of stuff. So essentially it's the nifty 50 for the Nikon D90, right? The good thing about this particular lens too, with the DX range of lens lenses, because they're a cheaper sort of style of lens, um, this one's got a metal mount, unlike the other lens that I'm gonna review uh, soon. This lens here's got a metal mount, so it's a little bit more sturdier than the other lenses. So the 35 is a really, really good option too. Um, so yeah, uh, get on eBay, get your D90, and get this Nikon 35mm f1.8. Great little prime lens, highly, highly recommended, okay? So let's move on to the next lens and then we'll discuss some other options, okay? Okay, so lens number two is, so we've got our prime here, now we've got a zoom lens, right? So um, this lens here is the 18 to 105, 3.5 to 5.6. It's a variable aperture zoom lens, okay? So I must say also, the 35mm, um, if you're shooting in some sort of low light situations and stuff like that, having that faster 1.8 aperture, good little low light combo. Would I you know, match the Sony A9s and all that sort of stuff? No, it won't. But if you're uh, in a pinch, that's gonna be suitable for sort of lower light work. Where this one here is a variable aperture, right? So if you don't know, that means the aperture changes as you extend of the zoom. So this is a great focal length, 18 to 105. Gives you a good range. I honestly keep this lens on most of the time if I'm doing, um, you know, following the family around or just doing some street photography and stuff like that. It's my daytime lens, as I mentioned before. Uh, the Vero Aperture is a little bit, you know, so-so in low light conditions, <clears throat> especially when it goes out to the 5.6. Um, you're gonna be struggling there. So, but daytime lens, walk around lens, this is fantastic. Um, 
used correctly, you can really um, blow out the background and all that sort of stuff. But that all comes back to, you know, the skill of knowing uh, photography and how to place your distance, foreground, all that sort of background sort of stuff. You know, you're not going to get the, the bokeh master of that, you know, f3.5 uh, 5.6 range. However, use your feet, compose your shots, place your subjects where <clears throat> they need to be and you'll be able to blow out the background, no worries. Again, this lens, the limitations of the slower aperture, really makes you work hard and think about your shots. Um, so, and again, in general, you know, me coming from Panasonic, which I still use professionally all the time, uh, GH5 Mark II, G9, uh, uh, S5, got the whole Lumix kit. It makes things so easy, right? The mirrorless systems, oh my God, so simple. However, coming back to the DSLR, for, uh, you know, focus, compose, and check. You're checking your shots, all that sort of stuff. I feel as though coming back to, you know, this sort of system makes you a better photographer too. Um, you know, it's almost like going back, you know, if I was to go back to film too, that would make me an even better photographer. I feel as though I'm not gonna go back to film because I don't have the time or the money to do that. Been there, done that, not doing that again. Um, however, this, going back to DSLR, really makes you think, especially if these slower, cheaper lenses, I picked this one up for $98 Australian. Um, and, you know, great everyday walk around lens. Highly recommend this one. Outside daytime lens, it's the one you want to get, okay? So it's the 18 to 105, 3.5 to 5.6. Now, let's go away and we'll come back and we'll discuss some other options that you might want to look at for your Nikon D90. Okay. Uh, welcome back everybody. So another option you might want to look at is the full frame 50mm f1.8. So on your crop sensor camera you're going to get a bit extra reach. 75ish? Um, oh jeez, I really don't know. Leave it down below in the comments if you know what the focal length is going to be on the 50mm lens for your crop sensor D90, right? But this is another great fast little prime. It's smaller than the um, 35 mil, and it's got a great fast aperture of 1.8. This would be another one that would be good little combo kit to take traveling with you. I'm going to Tasmania in a couple of weeks. This is the kit I'm going to be taking. Then, then also, as we said, if it gets stolen, doesn't matter. I'll just get another one for an extra $200. So the 50 mil is another good option. Another good option is another zoom, which is the standard sort of kit lens that used to come with the D90s and all that sort of stuff is the 18 to 55 mil, 3.5 to 5.6. So another zoom range, not as long as the 105. And then you've got the 18 to 300. Let me just, uh, 18 to 140, which is another kit lens that come used to come with the D90 and D whatever, all that sort of stuff. Those two lenses too, another good um, two zoom lenses to have in your kit. Uh, for your Nikon D90 as well. Um, daytime lenses, of course, they got the slower aperture. But again, um, I can't stress this enough, the older cameras um, really, really improve photography. There's no doubt about it. You gotta think harder. Um, and, you know, working with the slower lenses, these lenses, you know, the fast primes, that's super fun, right? You know what I mean? You can really get some great results with these two particular lenses. The slower zooms, they're gonna make you work a bit harder, they're gonna make you compose your shot and all that sort of stuff. So, um, they're my two lenses, the 35, 1.8, the 18 to 105, and then some options of maybe the 50 mil, nifty 50 full frame, 1.8, and then you've also got some other zoom options you can get, right? And all these lenses, you can pick them up for like, here, you've got the 18 to 140 for 358 Australian. Now I'm sure you could probably get that cheaper. Um, and yeah, you know, you can pick these up for about 140 Australian. Yeah, it's cheap, right? Cheap and fun and you'll get great quality images pairing these lenses up with your Nikon D90. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to the channel. 
comment and like below. Um, and let me know what your favorite lenses is for the, is blah, 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 your favorite lenses for the Nikon D90, right? So until next time, I'll see you all later.